Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Giselle. So in today's video, we're going to be reviewing the new e.l.f. Camo CC Cream that they came out with a few months ago, I think in maybe November. But yeah, so if you want to see how this performs on my skin and my thoughts about it, keep on watching. I got this CC cream from Ulta. I got two shades. So I have 375N medium. And then this one is um, 330 warm. So I really think the 375, this one that's a little bit darker, will suit me a little bit better. We're gonna see, we're gonna see. I really think this one is, cause I think the 330 warm is a little bit too light. But here are some things about the foundation. On Ulta's website, they only have 15 shades that are available and um, there are 20 shades in all. Um, if you go to Elf's website, they have all 20 shades on there. So you can pick from there, which is, I probably should have went on Elf and got it. What's up guys, editing Giselle here. So I just wanted to show you the Elf website because I just came across this, I didn't notice. But on Elf's website, um, they have all 20 shade ranges as well as the Find My Shade where you can go and search different brands of um, foundations that you already wear so I'm gonna type in Maybelline because I know that one off the top of my head I'm gonna do the matte fit me poreless foundation and I am in the shade 330 classic tan or a toffee and then once you find my match hmm. I don't believe that. Let me do it again. Yesterday when I did it, it gave me a uh, medium dark 475, which is the next shade up. So I'm gonna try another, another foundation. I'm gonna do my ColourPop. The Pretty Fresh foundation I am in the shade 147 well it's still match made of 355 and I believe that's what I have already and that was too warm for me so anyway there's this option for you if you want to try to find your shade before you buy it we're still gonna try it out and I'm gonna give you my thoughts hopefully it's something close to my skin tone but here are the claims for this lovely foundation so you get a medium to full coverage color correcting foundation with 30 SPF protection um, it is a multitasking foundation that provides skincare benefits infused with hydrating and youth boosting ingredients known to improve skin's texture and tone. Our shade matching guarantee allows you to buy with confidence. And this is from the e.l.f. website and also if I do have any of my um, followers watching from Canada it says our CC camo cream is not for sale in Canada okay so let's go through and test this out this foundation was $14 and um, of course on Ulta's website you can use the coupon code to get a little bit off of your purchase but with that we're also going to be you know using elf or as much as e.l.f. as I can in this video. So I also bought the e.l.f. Putty Primer as well to go with it. I've heard 
lots of good things about this primer. It's been compared to the Tatcha um, primer as well. So I'm not even gonna, your girl just got out of Christmas and buying for the holidays. So we can't afford anything that's Tatcha right now. I mean, this packaging. Usually after I put on my um, my primer, I go in with the setting powder. This is the Black Opal setting powder. And I really just take a big fluffy oh, blending brush or a powder brush and just go in. And just dab that all over my face and kind of set the primer. Okay, so brought you guys in a little bit closer. I think this lens will be a little bit better so you can see all the detail. So like I said, we're gonna be going in with the um, medium 375. Let me shake with this hand. And I'm going to do, oh, this is nice, it has a pump. I didn't notice that love 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 so I think I'm gonna start off with two pumps and I'm gonna apply one side with my beauty sponge and the other side with a foundation brush and side note this little makeup palette that I got from DSM D shop I'll link it in my bio down below it's like you don't have to get your your um, back of the hand dirty anymore so this will be awesome for makeup artists so you guys can have that but it looks really thick and oh no this looks super light oh This looks way too light. And the undertone. Okay, let's just blend it, see what we can do. Maybe we can darken it up. Ugh. But other than, you know, it not matching, it feels really nice. I'm gonna go in with my little beauty sponge to see. Yeah. See, that's what I thought. This one's light too. Yeah, I would I would more go with the other one. <sighs> oh, it's just so hard matching yourself online with their pictures too. Like, ooh, it's so pink. You know what? I'm just gonna Looking at my skin, it is a good medium coverage. If I wanted to have full coverage, then I would definitely put a second layer on there, but I don't think I'm going to be doing that. And I mean, it's sitting on the skin okay. I don't know if, like, I don't know. It's making my skin look very textured. I don't know if that's because I applied it with the brush. Let's go in with the sponge. It looks decent. It's still way too light. But, I mean, I think I can pull it off. I'm definitely going to be returning these to try to get my, my correct shade. But, I mean, so far... I like how it's sitting on my skin. It doesn't feel, you know, that bad. So let's go in and finish the rest of my face. Um, I'm taking the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. Uh, that was not the right shade to grab. See, even, even my concealers are lighter than my face. 
and then put on three different shades of concealer. Oh, Jesus. Help me, Lord. So we're gonna take the e.l.f. Halo setting powder. We're just gonna take a little bit of this. Let me finish the rest of my face and I'll come back with my final thoughts on this foundation. So this is my finished makeup look. So I did what I would regularly, 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 regularly. I did what I normally would do with my face and right now I feel pretty good. I was able to kind of save the color of the foundation so it won't look as bad but you can definitely yeah you can definitely tell the different hues on my neck so I'm very um, interested in to seeing how this foundation will look in my normal color but as of right now not looking or, or paying attention to the the color mismatch I think it's okay um, it covers nicely, like I said in the beginning, if I were to go in with a couple of more layers, then I think I would have gotten some more full coverage. Um, so, ooh, got some little creases down here. But yeah, if I would have went into went in with a little bit more layers, I definitely would have gotten would have gotten some more coverage from it. But I definitely think this is a foundation to try. This is really good for beginners, so if you want to have something that's like your skin but better, you can find the right shade in it. It's something that you you can just put on and go if you just, you know, you're new to makeup and you don't know um, a lot to do, then this is definitely something that I would recommend. The um, cat CC cream it already comes with SPF so it will give you some nice protection throughout the day so this is a good you know day foundation running errands doing you know going to work things like that I would definitely use this as a work foundation so um, but yeah I'll definitely be trying this again in my right shade if you want to see me do a video on that let me know I can do like an updated video but as of as of right now my initial thoughts I really like it I recommend it um, so if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up let me know if you want me to try any other foundations in the comments down below and I'll be sure to do those videos for you guys and until my next video bye